Let's get into another big match here. Gunther versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental title. I'm very uh, interested in what you guys are Sami Zayn Ooh. won a gauntlet match, earning this opportunity to face Gunther at WrestleMania. A lot of lead up. Gunther putting on some of his best heel work uh, to say Sami Zayn isn't ready. He's not He's not established. He dresses like a bum. <laughs> All the stuff from Gunther with some of his best heel work. And Sami Zayn kind of finding confidence in a kind of a partner with Chad Gable. Uh, leading up to this, Chad Gable saying he wasn't ready. He has to change his approach. He has to be ready. He can't make any mistakes going into this match. Uh, who do you guys have in winning this match and being the Intercontinental Champion leaving WrestleMania? I don't know about you guys, but this is this is probably gonna be one of the tougher ones to pick. Now, based upon what happened on Raw, everything is leaning towards Sami Zayn winning the, winning this match. But the way they they've been they've been booking it. I mean, I mean, Sammy. Sammy has been booked to be the 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 uh, the absolute under the number one underdog in this feud, feud from jump. Like Gunther mm-hmm. has had the upper hand on on uh, on Sammy Zayn since Sammy Zayn beat um, Chad G- Chad Gable. And the weeks following, Gunther Gunther has had uh, ha- had had the advantage. He distracted him in matches. He took out Chad Gable on check out Chad Gable on Raw. Um, I mean, Gunther has had the, Gunther has had the the, the uh, upper hand. But then when you look, but then when you look at it, it's kind of it's kind of like, you know, there's nothing more for Gunther to accomplish with this Intercontinental Championship. I mean, he's already set the set the set the standard now. But obviously, passing honky honky talk, man. And at this point, it's just like, yeah, uh, only, only thing we want to see him do is now just elevate to the next next level. I mean, he should be he should be a world title contender right now easily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Easily, like, no questions asked. Anyone that debates that is an idiot. I mean, <laughs> seriously, like, it, it, like that's the next, that's the next level for him. I, I, so that's why I'm going. I'm actually going Sami Zayn on, for this match because I'm at, I'm at the point right now with Gunther where it's just like we need to get to the next level. I mean, the Intercontinental Title, what, what he's done with the title, holding it, holding it for what is it like over 600 days now? There's not, mm-hmm. there's nothing left to do. I mean, you beat Sami, you beat Sami Zayn, and then then what? What another month or another month or two of you holding the title, and then some, and then somebody else getting getting an opportunity. Nah, I, uh, it, it's time it's time for you for Gunther, for Gunther to take that next step, and I think um, this this is finally the the time that he gives up the Intercontinental Championship, which which is great because you know I had said, I think they had initially they had a different plan for Gunther, and. Um, I think that initially they were gonna put put the we were we were hoping they were gonna this was gonna be the uh, ladder match the, a multi man ladder match for the IC title, but I think, but um I think I had said that it would mean more for him to have that one on one match for him to lose the IC title against somebody, I guess somebody against somebody cre- credible, and who and in this case Sami Zayn I mean he's the ult- the ultimate underdog. Now I know it's very easy to pick against Sami because of last year because he kind of had that moment last year. But that, but that was more, but that was more because of how great that that story was. This year, I think uh, this year, I feel, I feel as though it's more, it's more about getting Gunther that it's more about getting Gunther to the next level. So, I'm going Sami Zayn. Oh, this one's tough. Brian makes a good point in in just the sense that, um, yeah, Gunther has has done everything with the IC title. He's elevated it to prestigious levels, almost as big as, like, the Universal title in, in the sense that he's defended it, he's destroyed everybody, literally beating almost everybody clean, you know, from most most of the of the matches he's had. Um, I don't know. I th- I'm, I'm in that boat where a lot of people are like, you know, Sammy, you know, we all love Sammy. I'm a huge Sammy Zayn guy. Again, another one from, you know, watching him early on in NXT and everything and his meteoric rise and everything um, to his character changes to what he did. The bloodline was amazing. Um, But I don't know. There was just something about Chad Gable that, you know, he had his chance where he was, like, trying to take the title off of Gunther. It didn't happen. Obviously, uh, you know, we all kind of predicted because that didn't happen because we want uh, WWE wanted him to pass that title reign of the honky, honky tonk man, but I think we all kind of wanted him to get back into that spot. Now, my only thing, I'm, I'm a little indifferent because I'm, I'm either feeling like a little swerve coming. I don't know. Part of me feels that maybe Chad turns heel, 
mm-hmm. and cost Sammy the title just because maybe because he did win the uh you know he did kind of have his moment last year and who did was Gunther on the on the WrestleMania card last year? Yeah, he was in that uh that physical ass triple threat with Drew and uh, Sheamus. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he didn't get a win last year. So that that's I think that that's I don't know. What Brian said kind of makes me wonder if they'll just say like screw it, we'll just give it to Sammy so he gets that win and get the title off of um Gunther, but at the same time Gunther could still hold on to the title and then still just be a championship contender with that title. And he could, you know, we could have another like double champion or something like that, but I'm very torn. I don't know. (laughs) What do you think this is? 2002 with double champions? What do you think this is? I'm sorry. What did Roman, what did Roman do? That is the tribal chief. Oh, uh, what, so what the hell? Show is some respect. And Gunther <laughs> show some respect. respect. At Gunther some point during respect. his reign, you're going to show some respect. <laughs> How are you going to talk shit about? Oh, what is this double championship? We literally just had a double championship reign. Because this is that's a different How? aspect. How? Because it's God mode. Ah, it's greatness <laughs> on a different <laughs> level. <laughs> this is God mode. This man. You're just telling the truth. Are you making a pick, Lewis? Are you picking Sammy or are you picking Gunther? We need a decision. <laughs> I know. It's it's hard because it's like Gunther's it's not again, again, let me It's not difficult though. for a person who won last year and made all the right picks with his his, his secret sources. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Dan, you know what he's going to do? He, he's gonna, he's going to pick Priest to cash in money in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Gunther. Oh, there, we go. there we go. We're we're getting another Austin Theory going after a big card title. Yeah. Oh my god. There we go. That's his that's that's his pick. Bro. I swear if I see Damien go after a, either a US or an IC title, I'm like, yo, just get rid of money in the bank. Get rid of it. No, just go to just go to just send them to a just send them to AEW. Just send them to AEW. There's no, no recovery. There's after no that. point. In, I'm like, you I should not. only give that contract to legitimate contenders because there's no point in giving that to anybody anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, but I'm gonna go. <sighs> Screw it. I'm gonna go Gunther. I want Gunther. Lewis is going Gunther, and after that long spiel. I have to agree with him. I'm going Gunther because I just don't. Sammy had his moment last year, yeah, and I just feel like I just feel like he's the wrong person in this match. And I, I'm going to keep saying that Chad Gable should be in this match. Chad Gable deserved that moment. He did to be in WrestleMania and get that win because first of all, that match Gunther. Gunther and Chad Gable would have stole the show. That would have stole the show at WrestleMania if you gave them 15, 20 minutes to really tell that story. It would have stole the show. Like, there's no doubt about it. And I'm not saying Sami Zayn can't put on a great performance because he has in plenty of matches. I still remember his matches with uh, uh, Cesaro and NXT um, and those two out of three fall matches and those type of matches that he did back then. But just overall, it's just like Gunther, I just feel like he's doing his best work. And, yes, people feel like he needs to lose the title, but I feel like after WrestleMania, this international tour that they're going to be doing uh, on PLEs, he can carry that title. He can still hold that weight there with that title and put on some classics. And I, I feel like that's an opportunity to, to create another star. And again, somebody to end his reign, it has to be a star. And not to say that Sami Zayn isn't a star, it's to create a new star. That's my whole opinion about this reign that Gunther has been killing it yeah. all this time. Sami Zayn is already established. Whatever we say, if this, if Sami Zayn wins the title at WrestleMania, at the Intercontinental title, the next title, the next in the next three months, he needs to go get a world title shot because he just beat Gunther. <laughs> That's how impactful that has to be for Sami Zayn in order to win that Intercontinental title, in my opinion. But right now, I just don't feel like he's the guy to beat Gunther. I just don't feel like that's the right yeah. move. If this was uh, if this was Chad Gable, I'd be singing another tune. I'm like, that man deserves a title. Regardless if I couldn't, regardless if I didn't even think Chad Gable was going to win the match, I will still pick Chad Gable. <laughs> That's how much I want Chad Gable to win. That. I, yeah. That's how much I want him to win. 
Um, is there a potential heel turn with Chad Gable? I could see it. I could see it. Like he could play that. It should have been me, Dolph Roll. <laughs> easily. It should have been me. Easily. Like, could easily play that and eventually win it at some point and cheat his way to get it, which would be awesome, I think, in some retrospect down the line. But um, yeah, I just I just gotta go Gunther, man. He's he he's hot right now. I love his heel work. I've been he's one of the most underrated uh uh things in wrestling right now. And I think he gets lost in the shuffle despite his reign, but it's just like his heel work. I'm loving him talking shit to people. And <laughs> you believe him because it's like he's big, like he's huge, like he's bigger than everybody else. He's like, yo, you can't beat me. <laughs> it's a cocky, it's a cockiness that 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 we all believe in with Gunther when he speaks right now. He's just been doing great work um as the champion. I think it's gonna continue. I don't think I don't think Sammy's the guy right now. I just don't oh, think it's funny how you're going with the guy who's who's hot right now, and you know, who Everybody is, you know, it's kind of cheering for it, you know. You do notice that I'm going with the champion, right? I'm going with the champion, all right? I'm going, the, I'm going with the champion, all right? Champion. <laughs> Let's just remember that. Um, but yep, uh me and Lou's going Gunther and Brian going with the upset with Sami Zayn uh getting the Intercontinental yeah. Championship. And we will see. Uh, moving on to a 